Hello, today I'm here with a new video and I am going to talk about eyeshadow palettes that I have loved but I don't use anymore for some reason. And I have seven palettes and I'm going to show you them, talk a little bit about them. So yeah, I think we just get started. So I'm going to start with palettes that you have seen me use and everything and then we're going down to palettes that I have had for many many years. But the first palette I want to talk about and these are like palettes, some of them have been really special to me and some I have loved for a short while. But first off I want to talk about the Zulu palette from Juve's Place. If you didn't know the palette looks like this, I have had this for I think two and a half years maybe. This was one of my first like really colorful palette. I really loved this when I got it. Uh, it was so unusual for from what I had before and I haven't used this in... I don't think I didn't use it like last year at all even once but this is like I can't decluttering this. I think I did my first video in English using this. I did it get read with me, I think. At least it was this one. And I can't think lettering because of that. And because of this, this really sparked like my love for colorful makeup. But it's been such a long time since I used this. Then the next palette is one of my absolute favorite palettes. It is uh, from a brand that is not available anymore and it's Blush Tribe. And that is the Paulina and Blush Tribe palette. I love this palette. Paulina is one of the people that I... One of the persons? One of the people? One of the persons that I have been following the longest on YouTube. I don't know for how many years. I think since she maybe started. And the palette looks like this. I really, really love this palette. I have done Free Looks One palette, First Impression. I have done a collab, a super, super big collab. It was so fun with this palette. But it's nothing that I reach for because Blush Tribe isn't available anymore. This was a limited edition palette. But this is really one of my favorite palettes. I think, like... If this is, if this wouldn't be a collab with Paulina, I wouldn't love it as much as I do. But it's just something about this that I really, really love. But like, I never use it. And I don't know if you want me to use this or if it's just like going to annoy you. Please let me know. I can take the other one from Blush Tribe as well. And this is actually the Hasina 2 palette. I think this is my favorite palette from Blush Tribe after Paulina. And this is like not at all my color story. But it's just something about this. Like this reshade is one of my absolute favorite shades in my whole collection. This black is really good. And yeah. I have done some fun looks with this. I have done some amazing looks <laughs> with this. What? I've done some really fun looks with this. I have loved to play it every time I have used it. And it is just a good palette. And I'm sorry for you that missed out on Blush Try because she did amazing palettes so much. She has a new brand. I haven't tested anything, but it's just amazing. And it's the same with the Hasina palette, Hasina 2 palette, as with the Paulina palette. I don't know if you want to see videos on it because it's not available. Then I have two other palettes from the same brand, and that is Certify. And uh, we can start with the Dynasty palette. I think I've used this once. I really liked my, I really liked it in my first impression. I don't think I have picked it up once after that and, but maybe I've used some of the shades like together with other palettes, I don't know. 
or have I done I think I only have done one look maybe I have done a palette bingo so I have used this palette maybe once or twice even though I really 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 liked it it is it is a really nice palette but it's something about certify I don't know they do good shadows but it's like they've disappeared a little bit they are still like available to buy and they came to beauty bay i don't know if they are beauty bay still but it's like something about certify that i don't know i followed them on instagram and i think it was a long time since they post anything i don't know but it is I have nothing to complain about the palette, but it's I, I just don't pick it up. And then I also have the Tropical Wonders. This I have used much more than the Dynasty. I have done Freelux One palette, first impression, I used some of the shades together with other palettes, and this is like a perfect rainbow palette. But to be honest, I'm a little bit over rainbow palettes. I don't think it's that fun anymore and it's not that unique but the thing I like is I have all the colors I need in this if I need a yellow if I need a purple a green I have it but it is something and it doesn't feel like people want to see like a whole crazy rainbow look even though I love to do that I think I did it in my first impression did I I think but it's nothing that I reach for. I have all the palettes I'm showing you, I have put down in a drawer, so I don't even see them. And I really have to like dig some of them out. But yeah, I like this, but I think I've used this once last year. It feels so bad to say that. It's a good rainbow palette. If you want a rainbow palette, buy it, but... I don't know who wants to buy a rainbow palette anymore. And okay, <laughs> the last two palettes. I don't think you've ever seen me use these, but I don't know which one to start with. Okay. When I started to do YouTube and I started to do makeup, this was one of the first palettes I bought. I wore it a lot. Um, and I really <laughs> liking it and it's from the balm and it's the meat matte nude i loved it so much that i have three of the meat matte and i can't even remember when i use this the latest and it looks like this it doesn't look like i've used it at all but trust me i have these are really pigmented shadows and this palette looks so boring i I don't even know what I loved about it, but this has been one of my absolute favorite palettes in my collection. And I just fall in love with the formula, with all the shades. This was before I liked shimmers and colors. This was before the Zool palette. But it's... I don't know. Do any of you have this palette? <laughs> I think... The balm was pretty big, at least in Sweden, a couple of years ago. And uh, maybe it was then when I bought this, but like I can't decluttering this, but like I, I'm not going to use it because the shades in this I have in other palettes that I like more, but I don't know. I don't know. And the last palette, this I still really, really, really like. I don't know what for videos I'm going to do with it though. Um, I could use it outside of YouTube, but I have other palettes that I rather use. But it's the Makeup Geek and Many MUA. This was a struggle to get a hold of. Um, I still really, really think this is a good looking palette. And this I have actually done some work on. I don't know if I can show you this physical strange, but do you see this one I have used quite a lot. And this one, and also I think it's this one. But it's 
such a neutral palette. I think though, because when I got this palette, like the bottom row, I was a little bit afraid of. Now, this is what I like, and maybe these shimmers up here, but I've used this so much. I did the same look over and over again because I just loved it, and I don't know. I really love this so much, and one of like my memories with this one, I think I did, I did a makeup look, this was back when I had my English, no, my channel in Swedish, I did a makeup look with this one, and I got like comments, it was the first like comments I got, and people asked me, how did you do that makeup look? I was so like... I felt so good at makeup. I have never felt so good at makeup and then that time and so I think this is a little bit special to me as well. Well it is. This this shade looks really really good. Oh, oh my oh my lord. Do you see this? have I had this in my collection for so long and like never used it because I was oh my I need to stare at this in the viewfinder oh my okay do you know what I'm using this palette even if you maybe don't want to see it I'm using it because this shade so okay <laughs> this is going this is going on the table that's for sure. So yeah, that was seven palettes that I've been loving, but I don't use anymore. And please let me know if you want to see looks with any of these palettes. Because I say this in like everything I do, but today, today, this year, I really want to play with my collection. I've been collecting makeup for so long. And I have so many palettes that I used maybe four times. And that feels like that is a lot for a makeup collector or big makeup lover. But yeah, please let me know what you want and I will try to fix it. I am really in like a flow now. I love to film right now and it feels so good. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!